Hello and welcome to Marriott MBA Today. I'm your host, Ben Shilliard, and I'm joined today by Nikolai Makarov. Nikolai is from Moscow, Russia. Uh, he's a first year MBA student, uh, marketing track. Uh, thanks for joining us today, Nikolai. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you. Well, uh, just um, maybe tell us a little bit more about yourself and your family. Sure. Um, well, as you already said, I'm from Moscow, Russia. I was born there, uh, born and raised in USSR. Uh, I still remember a lot of uh, things about communism, but uh, I went through the hard time uh, living in, in a collapsing country that soon be became Russia. Then I got my education there, and uh, today I'm here, I'm happy to be in BYU, and I'm really excited to be part of this, this program. Awesome. So your, your family is pretty education oriented, is that right? Can you tell us a little bit more yeah, about sure. that? Yeah, um, sure. I was born in a family uh, that was uh, full of a lot of uh, engineers and we had, uh, well, pretty much since I was uh, really small, everyone was uh, pushing me into uh, getting as much of education as I possibly could. Uh, all of my uh, parents, they got their education in uh, really good universities. Uh, like my mother, she was in a socialistic version of MIT. Uh, my uh, dad, he uh, worked as a microbiologist and now he, he's a professor in university. His wife is a professor in university. My granddad was a professor in the university, a dean. And uh, they were always pushing me into that, uh, into being in education and into uh, learning more about everything and uh, actually my brother is uh, in education too he is doing some classes right now here in the u.s uh, for some online university very cool so uh now you studied engineering before coming to the mba program is that's that right? right yeah that's right so now why the switch to uh and masters of business well that's a really good question uh, you know when i was a uh, young uh, I always heard those stories about my grandpa uh, that was uh, really, uh, he was always trying to find a, as much of education as he possibly could. You know, when he was uh, young, he actually lived in a small village called Ka Kozlova. Uh, and this village was really tiny and he always had that feeling that he had to get education. So every day uh, to get to school he had to work a walk for five and a half miles and uh, um, since then he uh, went through a lot of uh, problems but got his education in university became a dean of a really prominent engineering university as well as uh, now since he died there's like a statue of him in that university and uh, um, since i was a kid i always thought that getting a really good education is something that is important for me and uh, uh, even though I was an engineer I always felt that I wanted to uh, work more with people than uh, the majority of engineers do and uh, I moved uh, from engineering after my mission to do marketing and I absolutely loved it uh, but I always felt that I really want to learn a bit more about uh, business I want to know uh, more about finance and other things and that's why I decided to join the school. Very nice. So, so yeah, you wanted to work with people more. Uh, you felt like uh, you wanted to be more on the business side of things. Sure. Um, so, so why select BYU of all schools? I know this is really random uh, <laughs> and uh, for, especially for a person that uh, lived in Moscow, we have a ton of really good universities, uh, a lot of really good MBA programs and uh, uh, I looked at different rankings. I had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different options uh, whether I even should get an MBA or not. But uh, when I realized that I really want to get it, that I really want to get a lot of experience in different areas of business to understand business in more depth, I uh, looked at different programs and. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked MBA was that my brother, he actually got his Mac here in BYU uh, and he absolutely loved it and he always said to me, you should get an MBA from BYU, it is a great program. 
Uh, then I started to look uh, for more details on different rankings and I realized that BYU is actually a really good school and uh, when I learned more about this school I realized that this is a school where you can uh, be taught by professors uh, that taught before at HBS. Uh, a lot of the professors are really funny. Uh, they do, uh, do everything in a really entertaining um, way as well as uh, this is just a really good school uh, because it is so close with the church and as a me, me being an LDS for more than 20 years it is also a very important uh, thing because I really want to uh, go through business school but I also want to have a spiritual experience here in the school. So earlier you were saying how uh, your family was one of the first uh, to join the church in Russia. Can you yeah, tell us a little right. bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Um, when I was really young, I was probably like eight or nine. Uh, my family, they were uh, atheists actually. And uh, it was a really interesting time for us because it was the time when the West, uh, Western life finally came into Russia. And, uh, one of the things that came to Russia was McDonald's and it was interesting that everything that was Western was really popular. For instance, in Moscow, McDonald's that was open in 89th, uh, to get a Big Mac you had to stand, uh, you had to stay in a line for more than two hours wow. just to get one Big Mac and they were selling only like two Big Macs in one hand. Uh, so when the church came, it was both easy and hard for the church uh, because a lot of the people they were interested in everything that is Western and not as much of interested in the church. And my family, uh, we were not interested in joining any of the churches. We were not looking for the truth or anything like that. Yeah. But uh, my aunt, she, uh, she was renting out her flat to a girl that came to Moscow who was uh, in LDS. And my aunt, she started to invite us uh, to join her in the meetings uh, that were at the time with like a small group of people, uh, most of whom were like Americans uh, in one of the flats. And it was a really interesting time, but uh, we were always not happy with this uh, invitation because we didn't really want to join. But then uh, one day my aunt called uh, uh, us and my brother, he answered the phone and uh, she asked, uh, so are you gonna come to church with us? And he was little, he was probably like 10 years old mm -hmm. and he uh, couldn't say no uh, to <laughs> an older person and he said yes. And uh, that was the time when uh, my mom said, okay, if you agree to come, then uh, we're all gonna go. And uh, we went to, the a branch, we only had like one little branch at the time, and uh, we actually loved it. Uh, we joined the church probably like uh, one month later on, uh, later, and uh, we've never really felt bad about that decision. That was a really important decision that changed our lives forever. Right, and, and eventually your, your brother goes on to study at BYU, does the MAC, and, and refers you to BYU, and, and you end up at BYU. It's very awesome story uh, to hear about. Um, so switching gears a little bit here, uh, recently you were involved with some case competitions. Can you describe uh, some of those briefly and, and sure. talk about uh, what happened, the, some of the results? Yeah, sure. Um, probably the biggest um, case competition that I, I was a part of was a PwC strategy competition. And that was in the very beginning of the program. Uh, we were all new and uh, when I decided to participate in that, um, I, it was pretty hard for me to even pick a team because I didn't know many of the people. I looked at their LinkedIn profiles and uh, <laughs> I found the, probably the best team possible. Um, we had a bunch of first years and uh, I looked at some of the people and they all looked really great. And uh, we started to participate when they gave us a case for uh, the strategy, we didn't really know anything about it. We didn't know anything about frameworks. We didn't know anything about how to tackle those kinds of uh, cases. We didn't even know uh, anything about each other. Um, but after a couple of days, uh, we became really good friends. And uh, 
we uh, created a really good idea uh, that got us uh, second place uh, for this competition. It was, uh, the idea was that good uh, that uh, the only team that we lost to was the team with the same exact idea that we <laughs> created. And um, it was just a really good experience. Uh, and uh, probably that experience helped me a lot in uh, finding my internship today with PwC. Uh, very awesome. Great. Yeah, I know that you guys had a lot of success, had a great team, and um, it's been great to have you in the, in the uh, MBA program. Uh, so well, thank you so much for joining us today. And, sure. Uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of Marriott MBA Today.